morning everyone. Welcome back to Homegrown Passion. Well here at Bradwood Farm, it's an exciting day. We're going to get the plastic replaced on the greenhouse finally. It's October but we have Indian summer. It's going to be 70 some degrees and not windy. So they're starting to get it off and I'll keep you posted on what's going on today. There's Nathan walking on the gutter between the two greenhouses. You can see a shadow up there. Start of the pulling off the plastic on the one side of the greenhouse. I guess they're going to do one side at a time. Had to turn off all the environmentals in there. It's going to be a nice sunny day, a bit cool out right now. So one of the first steps to do is to take off the metal locking bracket that holds the plastic to the gutters. This way we get the old plastic off. Okay, here I am up on the lift to see what they're doing. They're taking off the clips to get the plastic off this first bay here. You can tell the inflation flans off because everything's flat and they're moving right along the gutters. Estimated time to do each bay, surprisingly, is about an hour and a half. So we'll watch them pull this off and then they'll pull the new one on top of this. With it being so dewy out this morning, having a hard time pulling the plastic off of the greenhouse. So they're trying to just roll it up on top of it to get it down. Usually, from what they say, it slides right off. So we're inside the greenhouse now, and the first bay, the plastic is off. Blue sky up there. Nathan's sweeping out the gutters to get them ready to install the new plastic. Got all the environmentals off. Wow, this is really strange. So. We've got two different types of ply that we put on the greenhouse. You got the GTIR um, AC Max, and then you've got the GT4 Clear. So the IR goes on the greenhouse first, and it should have a print on it that says this side down, so we know that we get the right side um, facing down. That has to do with the um, anti-condensate, anti right? So we want the anti-condensate compound on the inside of the greenhouse so that when we do get some of that humid air that goes through and hits the top of the greenhouse, that it helps to keep it from forming all these little raindrops on that go through and rain down on our crop. Okay, getting ready to put the plastic up there. Got to make sure we have it situated right so the one side goes down and it is marked, it says internal side goes down. So we're going to hang it from this straps here, lift it up on the lift and start pulling the plastic. Getting ready to pull the first layer of the plastic over the greenhouse. Got the plastic first layer pulled over the greenhouse. They're securing it to the end down there because the wind might pick up, so they want to make sure it's on there good. 
And I think they're gonna come along, pull it out, unfold it, and snap it into place. So walking down the one gutter and getting the plastic unfolded. Okay, got some wiggle wire installed on the back end here to hold it in place. And then I think we're gonna pull the next layer on top. First layer's on, has the UV stuff in it and the anti-constant stuff. So you don't get all the raindrops in the greenhouse when it gets humid in there. So the next one's gonna be on is a four mil. Okay, here goes the second layer. See how different this layer looks compared to the first one. Okay, we're working on the second bay here getting the wiggle wire out, then they'll take the snaps off the gutter and get the plastic off. Instead of pulling it off the back way this time, they're gonna pull it off sideways here. Inside the greenhouse now, showing you they're getting the plastic off the back end here. Look how dirty that is, wow. So glad to get it replaced. Wish I could show you how the difference is, but I don't think the camera will pick up the difference in the light between the bay they already covered and this bay that needs to be covered. Ouch. Plastic off the second bay. How exciting. Getting ready to pull the plastic on the second bay here. Wind's picked up a little bit, so they may have to shore it up a little bit to make sure it doesn't blow off. Okay, here they come pulling the plastic. Doesn't take too long to pull it down.
Wind's catching it a little bit. They're putting the wiggle wire in down at the end wall. Really feel a difference with the UV rays coming through with the plastic off and now the plastic on. Big, big difference. There's Doug up in the lift, using the lift to hold the plastic up. So since it's blown a little bit, they're gonna take a couple uh, clips and put it in place to hold it in as they pull everything across. Because they pull the one layer and then pull the second layer and then clip everything together until the gutter connects. Like we were talking before, the plastic has interior written on it so you know which side goes down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Now the wind's picking up. Well, we had a great day today here at Bradwood Farm. Very productive, got both roofs on the greenhouse, and we really want to thank Jeff and Nathan from Crop King for all their help today. They were amazing on how fast they got all of this done. The only thing that we have left to do is that we have to um, trim off some of the edges up there um, where the wiggle wire goes through. You just have to trim it up so you don't want it laying into the gutters and around the top of the uh, greenhouse there. But that's something Doug's gonna do here in the next day or so. So I hope you guys liked today's video. We had a great time doing this. And you can tell I'm a little bit dressed up. I don't feel like cooking tonight, so I'm taking Doug out for Mexican. So we'll see you guys next video. Oh, don't forget to leave me any questions, comments, and questions down below.